hello everyone back again um yeah good to be back i hope everybody's well um it's been lovely reading your messages and um, your comments and yeah it's just been really nice to grow this channel a little bit and to connect with you um so thank you very much for being a part of this little channel and for taking the time to comment it means a lot um and yeah it's good to have you here so this is a, a new journal um i've been working on this one for quite a while although well i made the cover quite a while ago and i just wanted to get it finished because it had been hanging around for a while um so the cover is made from an old skirt of mine that was dyed indigo and also this um this patterned um fabric came from an old uh, fabric and wallpaper book which uh, features throughout the the journal um so before um stitching this on i worked on this slow stitch and i did sort of a, a different pattern on the back and um yeah so um and i've done a little bit of detailing there and a little bit of slow stitching sort of created a little textural bump on there and what have you some french knots um so i quite like this i'm not sure if i'm going to decorate it any further i sort of feel like this area is a bit plain but you know i never know um whether to do that or whether to let the person who gets it puts their own sort of title on or whatever they want to do so this is quite a chunky one um, and I'm not known for my chunky books <laughs> um, but yeah it's a chunky one um, partly because it's padded but it's also because it's got quite a lot in so I've gone to town a little bit with this um, and that's because I just like doing it I just enjoyed it um, and I made the you know I used a lot of my um, yeah bits and bobs that I have um in my stash um so it's mostly there are no digitals in this so it's mostly from my bits that i've been saving over the years and um so yeah let's have a look in it's a squishy cover um which is quite nice nice to feel i'll just check her in yep perfect um excuse my messy desk <laughs> try to move things away so you can't see the messy bit um right so yeah i just popped those in there just to show you the pocket there um so originally i just used it's it's got some padding in it some soft padding and um i put this um, plain cotton fabric on and then i noticed it was a bit flimsy so i just sewed this sort of more decorative uh, little panel on it and just you know just to reinforce it a little bit um, and it looks nicer as well I've left the edges raw but um, you know obviously the stitching will help with that and that's just some little bits that I put in there um, I may or may not keep them in there but I was just to sort of show you the pocket um, yeah and this is um, an image from the same book um that i got the the fabric from it's a wallpaper and fabric book and this was just some of the image from the front of the book i think because it's glossy whereas the the wallpaper isn't so and this was some wall fabric that i've had for years just hanging around never knew what to do with it um and there it is again on this page as well I made a pocket from it so i just backed this with some blue card um punched a hole and put some sari silk in and I quite like that so I've made tabs throughout the book um so yeah this one um as I said I've made a, a pocket here made a little tag and some pretty fabric there and um there's just a detail of a bird so it's an eclectic style I guess you could say um you will see a lot of sort of Asian influences, but I think originally the influence came from the indigo. Um, 
and then from there I just sort of used various sort of the indigo skirt rather and um, the you know the, the dye indigo um, and from there it just sort of grew but I, I wanted I didn't want it to just be a theme I wanted lots of different elements to it so there are a few birds in it for some reason maybe birds were on my mind I don't know but I like I like the way it grows in that respect. I like the way that happens because, you know, there isn't one theme. And I, the last one I did a th more of a theme to, it was a pretty junk journal and this one is just a little bit different, I guess. So I've used, um, as I said, I've used some fabric that I've had for a long time to make a pocket. Made a little tuck here with just a bit, I think this is from a magazine or a book. And this is what we did together um recently the card that i made if you watched it tags rather and um i don't think i i can't remember doing the back anyway i put some paper on the packing paper on the back put a little detail on the top there and i've put this on just to protect the, the flower a little bit so that just sits in there and then there's a sari silk um pretty sari silk and embroidery detail there a little bit of fabric there a little tab if you like and then this is um from an art project that i did for quite quite a long time ago many years ago now and um it's just been sitting around and i wanted to make use of it and i thought it fit the theme because i've used a lot of fabrics textiles and textures and i thought this would work in this so i've created a pocket from it, it is a sealed um piece of vellum with fabric sealed into it and that was part of the project that i was doing at the time but i made this into a pocket just by gluing that on and i quite like that it's pretty this was some handmade paper that i did for a while ago and it's got some nice detail in there muslin um or scrim i can't remember what that is. it looks like muslin and there's just a little tie on there. I was wondering whether to maybe put some beads on there. So I'll have a think about that. But um, I quite like the gold um, thread. And I've done that in various places throughout the book. Um, yeah, so again, textures. I love this picture. I uh, love ceramics. And um, I just like the picture, so I put it in. Um, I don't know it sort of gives a feeling of warmth and coziness and textiles and uh, not textiles sorry uh, textures and um, I like that and, and also pattern and detail which I really like and there's a little tab there pretty tab um, this is um, from a French book page and you can see the detail of the notes that the person made in the book which is lovely I love that um so it's an old book obviously and um yeah really pretty <laughs> i like these two ladies one's doing some sewing and the other is reading a book it looks like to me like she's trying to speak french <laughs> um but it's fun i thought it was quite funny um and also it's apt because of the lady doing her sewing she's got a sewing box out and things and there's a little tag there that i did just a little plain tag um and then there's also a little uh, swatch little watercolor swatch as well and then here um, we've got another little tuck area um, from fabrics backed by card uh, I've left the selvage on the sides there uh, and also this is from another project that I did with using the um, yeah just sort of stamping and drawing and things like that on fabrics and this again is another one of another dried flower and again I've protected it with that oh, I might have to glue that down but it's actually really protected quite well in there and behind it is an eco die and it's just backed on there and I've stitched hand stitched around it and then um, two tags pocket here with two tags um, I really like this sort of again this reminded me of um, indigo fabric and I like the basket detail and then I've done a little bit of detailing at the bottom with some um, lace and a um, fabric um, tie there and then on this one 
backed it with blue card and left a little bit at the bottom there and then let me scrape that off a little bit of try and get that off um, and then I've just um, put some thread on it some pearl thread and then the pocket has these two little details in there and some writing pages this, there is plenty of pages to write in this some vellum um, some tissue paper with cranes on seems to be a theme in some of my books um, and I'm you know it's purely by coincidence it's not planned at all but you'll see there's more crayons in this book and um i mean again you know it sort of has that asian feel to it but you know it was wasn't intentional and then um yeah some washi there i quite like that and a little some um twine here um picture of some fabric and some birds another dictionary a diary page rather than a dictionary and um, this is a nice quality cartridge paper sorry you get little bits of glue on I'm sure you do as well <laughs> um, this is another um, yeah it's, prob it's from a um, magazine Daphne's diary uh, and I had those, I bought those years ago and when, when, well, not when they first came out, but I've had them quite a long time now, a good few years. And then I made a little um, pocket and tag, a little tag detail there. And some more of that fabric. So you can write on that. And that's just, a, I thought that was quite nice. Again, the crane features, purely coincidental, I have to say, probably not convinced, but it is. Um, and then another dried flower here, so hydrangea, um, again protected by this. And this, um, so I've used some wool tartan and there's a tuck there and then there's a little envelope there and decorated front and back, more of that book page, a little bird. And some fabric here, um, and then a nice little tag. Uh, the tag, I think it was a freebie from one of the journaling groups on Facebook. More paper. Um, so this, on the other side of this, um, so it's just a piece of fabric that I've wrapped around, but um, it was something that I stitched, oh, again, it's been in my stash forever and it was part of a larger collage and I just thought to use it I'm just going to check that you're in frame yeah um so yeah just thought I'd use it in here um some blue stitching there this is probably one of my favorite pages I absolutely love this and this is the wallpaper from that book that I mentioned and there's more of the fabric and I've done, tied some sari silk it's so pretty I was <laughs> thinking it whether to put something on there but no I think it's lovely left as it is and maybe whoever gets the journal if it's if I sell it um will um may want to do something with it so but I think it's such a pretty page if you can see the detail there um so yeah love that and coincidentally again sort of the blue on that side and the beige on that side and I thought that was interesting because it wasn't planned that way um, some things to do today appointments and notes paper some ledger paper um, so this is taken with one of those thermal printers it's, uh, some flowers in my garden last year and just a detail picture um, yeah, just some, but well, I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, it's plant material and I just thought it was an interesting. And then I've tied a little bow on there. And then here, um, so this is obviously some pattern paper and I liked it. So I've glued on part of it and then the rest I've folded over and I just really like that. Um, it reminds me of when you have a, you know, you making things and you put your papers in your books and things and uh you know you um 
yeah, it just reminds me of that. You fold it, fold your pa patterns over. I quite like that detail. So whoever gets the book can keep it in like this, can decorate it. Um, so it opens up. I'll show you it opened up. Just taking it off gently because it's... There you go. So it will open up like this. And then again on that side as well and down below. Um, so, yeah, the, it can be ripped off. Um and used elsewhere in the book or it can be kept actually i'll leave that i'll sort it out when when i'm finished okay um newsprint paper and construction paper <clears throat> so this was a print that i did um i don't know 10 15 years ago um and it's one of those sun prints and I can never remember the name of them. Um, it really drives me nuts because I can never remember. All I probably have to do is Google it and I could find it. But I'm sure you know which, what I mean. So you lay, you start off with a piece of paper and you, you have certain chemicals and you um, wash the chemicals on and the paper. And then put whatever it is you're going to print, which was a rose in this case. And then the sun does its work. And after a while you get a print much better than the these this one um but it, you know i just thought it was an interesting uh, beautiful blue color and then obviously got the detail on it as well and you could decorate it do lots of different things and also i've created pockets on both sides oh, I love your paper. Um, Another tag using tartan again. I have quite a lot of this. A lady gave it to me um, a while ago, a few years ago. And a little tag. And then I put a grommet on there. And then a pocket here. And this was taken from a salvage magazine, I think. I'm pretty sure. And a bit of lace down the bottom and some washi there. And um, this is just an interesting detail more textures um this is just a little sketch i did pussy willow and um yeah this is just sort of put on there I like it but it just helps to reinforce a little t uh, flip there and another flip here and another sketch of mine um, I just thought it's nice to add details that we've done ourselves in some washi. Uh, yeah, this is an interesting page. It's, um, I'm not sure. I think I got it from a magazine, but I can't remember completely. And, um, yeah, I, um, put some ink around it and also, um, stenciled around it and I put some fabric little fabric swatches there and some la beautiful old lace it's really old that lace it's antique and then I found this and I just thought oh this would look really pretty so I put that out and if you can see that pretty little bit of bling and then um yeah the, again this is part of that project that I did that I told you about and I love playing with that it's just so satisfying and I just added some a button stamp and a little button if that's off the um paper from the pattern paper and i just added it on because it's got a button on it nothing if not uh, predictable <laughs> and some more play paper to, to do some writing on <clears throat> or artwork another one of those and this time i'd stamped it previously part of the project so they all have, because they were stuck onto something, they all have sticky on the back. So I've just covered, so covered it over with paper on this. Case. And you might see some stitch holes as well, because some of them were stitched. And they've got old fabrics in there. And another journaling card. Um, this is a copy of pattern. And some pattern paper there. And more of that. Um, just writing on some fabric and then we've got a little flip there I meant to sew along there actually do some slow stitching on there I don't know if I'll get around to it 
um, a bit random, I know, but it had this stitching on and I really liked it. So, um, and then I've got this little bit of fabric and that's um, vintage. And then this, because I've used um, tartan in, just used that little bit of tab for a tab. And then I created a little cluster sort of collage there with a slow stitch. <clears throat> more plain paper to use a uh, little detail there little chair quite like it and then i've tied a little ball in there um so i did this uh there was one in the previous um book of mine and it was inspired by Cecibo on um youtube she did some really beautiful ones um so check her out. I'll try and link the video from that. But she um, she did some really lovely ones and she inspired me to do these. So just a bit of stitching, some stamping, a little frill tab. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. It reminds me of a little skirt, dolly skirt. Um, more of that with the button and some threads behind. And this was going to be a flip, but because the fabric's quite delicate, um, it does tend to break quite well, rip quite easily. So I've left it, well, I, I, I um, stuck it down and um, I think it looks better than it did actually. I uh, did some slow stitching and yeah, I mean, you could tuck something in there, something delicate in there if you wanted to. And that's a very old um, linen napkin. And then I did a little bit of embossing on that. This is card with um, tissue paper on the top and some embossing and then a little bit of sari silk on the top and then some indigo jeans and again another one of these and this one bled at some point years ago when I first did it so I'll take that off. Um, so yeah, I'll just cut that off while I'm here. There we go. And um, this is some handmade paper with, um, so tissue paper sandwiched in between with um, packing paper and also there's a plant in there as well. Again, I did a lot of this work a while ago and um, yeah, I've cut it up, almost a piece of something in there, um, cut it up and used it for different pockets and things. You can see I've sewed around it with the sewing machine. Another little collage here um, with some thread and some papers and a nice tag or journaling card tag. I always get those two mixed up. Some nice fabric. And then here, more of that. And this time it's um, a label in there and another collage and some packing paper another pressed flower or plant rather the seed pods the honest from the honesty plant and a little bit of um hmm, i forget what it's called now you'll know um seam binding uh, in pink and there's an honesty plant down there and i've just protected these here so <clears throat> The outer layer came off and I, it was so pretty that I decided to, you know, not put another one on, just leave this one on and I love it. I think it's really gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that lovely shine um, that it has. And again, this is just um, protecting it. You can take it off if you want. Um, <clears throat> some slow stitching, more of that um, delicate fabric, some lace and it's a pocket. And I've just put a piece of paper in and uh, it's just again that's from Daphne's diary magazine um, but you know you can put in what you want or you can just leave it I think it's pretty as is and um, on this side there's some silk I've made a flip I haven't put anything underneath but you can um, so it's real silk and you can use it as you want. You could cut pieces off and I mean, it's so pretty. 
and here we've got a tag with nice um, wool, curly wool, <laughs> don't know how else to describe it, um, detail there and a lovely picture there and that's actually really pretty as well, so that's from the, the, the um, magazine, the wallpaper and uh, fabric book and that is just gorgeous and then I've edged that with some fabric ribbon another tab I don't know if I've been showing you the tabs that we've been going along yeah I have um and then another tab here um with and I've added some pretty lace on the top gorgeous little sari silk detail there with some embroidery um some more of that tissue paper this time in gold so the tag I can find it yeah so it's the same but that's obviously blue and then we've got gold there and then just some very faint stamping on there a uh, stenciling on there and i've left it plain to do whatever whatever you want to it and on this side we've got a bird a crane and it says the crane represents health happiness peace and longevity and a little ribbon tab and then another one of those buttons <laughs> and just to reflect the colours in there and then I'll show you the pocket there um, so yeah and the same thing stitched around it and just reinforced it so and that's it um, so I hope you like it um, it's taken me a long time to do this one and I think it's just, you know, uh, well, it does take me a long time to do them in general, actually, but uh, this one took me quite a while and I just kept wanting to add and more and more and um, really go at it. And uh, I think I've done an OK job. I quite like it. It's lovely and I'd be happy to keep it for myself. I'm considering selling it. Um, I think I probably will sell it, but... Uh, I'll put a tie around it because obviously it's quite chunky. Um, so I'll probably put some sari tie or some cotton, a cotton tie around it. But yeah, I hope you like it. Um, I really do. Um, like I said, it's been taken a long time to make, but I've enjoyed it and learnt a lot, as you do. Uh, it's all a process, isn't it? And we're always learning. And um, yeah, I forgot to mention this is tissue paper. I actually, I'm going to be honest, I actually bodged it and um, so I had to redo it, but I uh, hope it looks okay. All right then, well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate you um, for being here. Um, it means a lot, as I said in the beginning. And um, yeah, I'll be back to do some more videos, some... Um, making videos and um yeah if you like my videos please subscribe um like comment and uh, it'll be lovely to hear from you um let me know what you're doing have you got a project on the go um if you've got a link to your shoot with youtube please do leave it in the comments um i do have um an instagram page as well and um, that, that mainly is to do with my still room apothecary, but I do actually put these books on as well and other, other crafts that I do. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, check that out. It's a still room keeper on Instagram. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you again next time and take care. Bye for now.